Hey, have you ever looked at your drawing and thought, wow, this is horrible. What was I thinking? I suck. I have zero talent. Well, don't worry. You're not alone. Many people feel discouraged about their drawing abilities, especially when they haven't drawn since they were kids. The key to improving is to identify what is it that makes your drawing bad. When you figure that out, you can correct it next time. Because remember, drawing is a process, and it's a set of skills that you can learn and you can improve on. Yes, even if you have no talent. <laughs> if you've always wanted to draw, now's the time to start. Welcome to How to Draw Without Talent. In 26 short, fun video lessons, you're going to learn the basics you need to draw absolutely anything. You'll be surprised at how good it looks and how many different things you could draw. Even if you can't draw a straight line. One of the main problems that I see is the quality of people's lines. Your line, it's your signature, and it tells a lot about how you're feeling inside. If your line is shaggy, that means that you're drawing your lines over and over, hoping that one of them is going to be right. It's like trying to hit the target with a shotgun or a machine gun. But you need to be a sniper who's confident and precise, cool under fire. Get to the point and speak or draw with confidence. Are you gripping that pen so hard that your line is cramped? And spiky? Are your pencil lines super faint and tentative? Well, isn't that kind of like speaking in a really quiet voice like that so no one hears you? Are you erasing and redrawing every line that you put down? Well, that's like someone who's always correcting their speech or giving caveats or excuses. Own it. Speak your mind. And even if you're just starting out, it's important to trust yourself and to let your creativity flow. The goal isn't a perfect rendering. It's a line that expresses how you see the world. It's a clear voice that's only yours. I suggest you don't draw in pencil, and then in pen, and then erase the pencil lines. Sure, some professional comic book artists work that way, but that's not what you need to do at this stage. It's sort of like double drawing, and it's going to look overworked and awkward. Also, avoid overworking your drawing by adding too many layers and lines. Don't keep correcting and adding more stuff and more materials and pastels and markers. It just looks overworked and fussy, but not better. Another issue that I see a lot is people relying on guidelines or tricks or mechanical aids like rulers instead of trusting their intuition and their observation skills. Don't bother with that guidelines that cut the face in half and quarters to figure out where the eyes go or the nose or the ears. If you want to know where they go, just look, observe, and think carefully about the relationships you see. If there are no magic tricks or shortcuts or rules to drawing, forget all those hacks and training wheels and crutches. They're just going to slow down your progress. It really comes down to looking and seeing takes time to train yourself to see accurately, but you can do it. Here's a pro tip. Don't start with complex subjects like portraits of celebrities. That's a very advanced sort of drawing that'll frustrate you and it's going to diminish your confidence back to square one. So begin with a simpler subject matter like drawing everyday objects around your house. And if you really want to draw people, start with a mirror. Draw a selfie every day. That's what Van Gogh and Rembrandt and Da Vinci and I did. The bottom line is, here's the key to doing good drawing. Do a lot of bad drawing. You don't judge the quality of each one, just judge the quantity. That's how you're going to develop your skills. Take your time, look hard, draw slowly, be patient. Don't judge yourself after you make every line and then go back around fixing it. Just focus on getting it right the first time by being patient 
and attentive. And don't judge yourself too harshly. That's not going to improve your confidence or your skill, and it'll suck the fun out of it too. Until you have a genuine sense of confidence, fake it till you make it. Confidence is incredibly attractive, even if what you're saying isn't exactly right. So just draw your lines with confidence, even if the lines aren't quite right. In time, they will be. That's all there is to getting good at this. Be patient, look hard, act confident, put away your eraser, and have a good time. You'll discover how drawing actually works. You'll do unboring exercises, and you'll do drawings of real things, drawings that'll shock and delight you. You'll even meet some talking, drawing dogs. Wow, could I do that? Best of all, you'll finally break that barrier that's held you back. Well, the good news is, that's hogwash. And be confidently on your way to a lifelong creative hand. Left hand. Here's my shoe, here's my paper, and then just turn it sideways. Learning to draw doesn't have to be hard or confusing or require a smidge of talent. All you need is a pen, some paper, and this great course. Let's get started. Oh, 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 oh.